The Iron Man Hut. Thanks for joining me again and again I hope you're all staying safe and you're all keeping well. In this video I'm going to show you just a fun wee exercise on how to create the Iron Man HUD. So to do this you'll have to take a selfie or get someone to take a photograph of you and for this video I suggest you use a black background. Down below in the description you'll find all the items that I use in this, except for a photograph of me because you don't want that. Uh, but one to just try yourself, have a laugh with. Uh, this is a basic exercise and it's quite a quick and simple one. And I hope you really enjoy it. I hope it just gives you something to pass the time. Let's dive right in. Okay, now that we're in Luminar, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new image layer. I'm not even going to edit this photo. This photo was actually taken, it was one of my students two or three years ago. He was looking for some kind of mean and moody shots. So that, that's me looking mean and moody. Uh, for this, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new image layer. And in the images, as you can see, in the folder that you can download below, you'll get all of these here, except for the photos of me, of course, but you'll get all of those here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this up and show you how quick and simple it is to build it up. Drop that on there. Then go in, overlay or screen, lighten. Screen looks the best. So there you go, that one's there. And if you want to move it poss possibly to the centre of the eye for that dot, just do that. And there you go, it's in the centre of the eye. Next thing, add new image layer. And let's go for this one. We'll just build it up as we are going. These for me are already set up for this document, so they're dropping in in place where they're meant to for this. Uh, because I've cropped, as you can see, a 16 by 9, roughly 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and they're dropping in exactly as where I want them for this. Uh, so when you come to get them, you may have a different aspect ratio with this, so you can move them around using layer transform. But what I'm going to do now is I am going to go screen, and there's the second one in. And I'm going to continue to do this until they're all built up. So next, add new image layer, and let's go for two. I'm just going to randomly place these. That one will drop in there, screen. So there we have it. If you want to adjust the opacity of them, just pull them back. You have total control within this. Again, add new image layer, and let's drop that one in. And you'll see that'll come in here somewhere. Screen. So you can see how you can build up the images. It's similar to the video I did a wee while back uh, with the Siamese fighting fish. So it's a similar idea to that. So if you're shooting these and you want to have fun with this and make yourself the Iron Man HUD, my suggestion would be to shoot against a black background for this blending mode. These can also be used, you can download these if you use the Photoshop as well, you can download these and use them in Photoshop following the same basic principles as well. I downloaded these many years ago and that's why I'm making them available here for you guys to do. Again, new image layer and let's drop in that one. And then, what I would like to point out about this one, you'll notice that some of them have already put a blur on. That's just to give the effect of depth. Again, I'll go in here and I'll go screen. So you can see how this is building up. And it's just a matter of re repeating the process over and over again. And go in, screen. So you get the idea of how this is going to all come together. Uh, what I have done as well though, if anybody wants to just try this as a one-off, I am going to delete all of these layers, right back to my original image. What I've also done for you, if you just want to try this just as a quick, fun exercise, 
I've also added the entire make of them, all 16. You'll notice there is a 17th one, but I'll show you what that one does in a minute. All 16, open. Normal, screen. But what we don't have here is the ability to blend any of them unless we use a brush. That's the one thing you don't have when you're dropping all of them in. You could put one half in, edit the mask, and use a brush, erase, and take out one half. If that's what you want to do for speed, you could do it like that. And then start adding the rest in. So it's totally up to you. I'm going to edit and do that. I'm going to add one more image layer just to show you what 17 is. 17 is a bigger version of one of the other HUD aspects. And the reason I've put that in, it's so is that if you want to create more depth, you can add that as well. So if I can get into overlay or I can get into screen, but you see it starts to make everything look messy. The other thing you can do as well is you can go in and layer transform so I could, if I wanted, let's flip it over to the other side, so it's over here now, and let's lock the aspect ratio, take it down in size. I tend to place them where they'll give the greatest effect with this, so let's see how this is going to look. And this probably isn't the best effect with this, it'll probably look too messy. But I'll just click done there. So there you go, that's how to bring all that together. Right, what we're going to do, we need to tone this for inside, as if it is inside the actual helmet. And the one thing I, I haven't done is I haven't warped any of these, so you're not getting the curve. I've just left them flat for you just to try. So what we've got to do now is we've got to tone the entire image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new adjustment layer, and I'm going to go straight into the Pro mode, and I'm going to go to a Photo Filter, and for this, I'm going to adjust the amount. This side, I am looking to be blue, kind of blue tinge to that one. So I'm going to take that over to about, see there, and I'm quite happy with that. I'm then going to edit the mask, but I'm going to use a gradient to do it. So that what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend two sides together. So I'm going to take that into there and just take it over to around there, roughly halfway just about there and then I'm going to click done and move into a new adjustment layer and I'm going to go back and I'm going to do the exact same but on the opposite side with a different colour. This time I think I'll just stick to red for the purposes of this so we'll go in here and we'll make it around, around that. Edit mask, gradient mask and let's drag this one from about there. So that gives us a double blend. And I'm going to click done there. So we've got that as well. So I'll show you the before and after. And that's how far we've came so far. So the last thing again with this is I'm going to add a new adjustment layer. And in this new adjustment layer, I'm going to add a look. The look I'm going to use for this one is the Camden fade and that's simply to give it a more cinematic look. So there we have the blacks slightly crushed and it gives that more cinematic feel to it. You can also go into the creative mode and add a lot if you want as well instead of using one of the, the looks. It's entirely up to you but it's just a fun wee exercise to try. So I'm going to leave it at that. I am going to click OK and apply. Hopefully you got something from that video and hopefully it's just a fun thing to try because that's the main idea, just to keep our brains active and stop you getting the isolation blues. That's the main thing. So it's just a fun, quick wee exercise with this one. As I say, if you're going to shoot this, if you're going to give this a go, get someone to take a photograph of you or take a photograph of yourself. That's something else to practice in the house. My suggestion, as I said, is against a black background for it to work with the blending modes I used. Everything that I used in this, uh, all the Iron Man HUD items will be down below. 
I, I downloaded them years, many years ago uh, for uh, Photoshop. So these can actually be used within Photoshop themselves uh, as well. So feel free if you're using Photoshop to create it in there as well. Same blending modes apply. You can also, if you want, you can also adjust the colours. I've left them all white for the exercise here and just put the blending mode over the top. Hopefully you enjoyed this video today. Just a quick one, just a wee fun exercise for you to do. If you'd like to check out more videos, please check them out in the channel below. If you're currently not a subscriber, please consider subscribing because that would be absolutely fantastic. Remember, stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching.